So here we are at FNC committee in Santander uh, department. Just been through a nice presentation uh, done by Nesta Serrano and his team here, where we talked about um, the climate here in Santander. We have, we have eight different uh, microclimates, um, taking into consideration the sun, the rain, the altitudes, and the soil. Um, especially the soil is very dry in this area, and that means that they have to take very much care of the resources. Taking that uh, into consideration, they also have to be environmentally friendly, uh, thinking about the water, the use of water, and, and that is also giving them a quite high percentage of uh, certified uh, coffee production. So 36% um, of all the uh, grown coffee here is uh, certified coffee in one way or the other. Uh, the varieties is uh, basically Castillo and Colombia, and we had a, for me, very interesting uh, discussion about like how important is the variety versus the environment. And I, before this, I was by the opinion that the variety had a much bigger impact on the flavor of the coffee than it actually does. It's uh, it's, it's basically the environment, the soil, and, um, and the rest of it that gives the flavor of the coffee, where the tree itself is, how can I say, more a tool to, to, for the coffee to grow. And that was proven in the cupping session we, we, we did afterwards, where we had eight different coffees, eight different areas uh, from Santander, all from Santander, but from the, the same varieties, Colombia, Castillo variety. And I would have thought before I did the copying that this will be very equal, uh, like more or less the same flavors, but I was caught by surprise. We had very different uh, flavors, very different aromas, and um, we had everything from very, very bright acidic coffees to very sweet, uh, dark sweetness, chocolatey coffees. Uh, so, so that was a good experience for me. and. We will talk more about the varieties when we get to uh, Cine Cafe uh, later on this trip.